Lesson 1, Coordinate Geometry, Midpoint Formula. Theory. Prove that the coordinates of the midpoint of the line joining the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by x1 plus x2 on 2 and y1 plus y2 on 2. First of all, we'll start off and plot two points. We'll call these points A. Make that one x1 y1 and over here b x2 y2 and just join those points up and m the midpoint we'll call that xy now we'll form a triangle and we'll call this point c drop this one down here and that one's going to be N but that's a right angle and that's a right angle now we can see then the triangle AMN that small one is similar to triangle ABC why is that well this is a common angle and that's a right angle and that's a right angle therefore these are similar by fact that they are equiangular. Therefore we can say that AM over AN must be equal to AB over AC because the corresponding sides are proportional. We know that AN, this one here AN is X minus X1 and we know that AC, oops, that's AB up top, AC is X2 minus X1. Now just rearranging that, we'll write that as AM over AB equals X minus X1 over X2 minus X1. Now the ratio of AM to AB AM to AB is 1 over 2 because AM is a half of AB. Therefore we can say 1 over 2 equals X minus X1 over X2 minus X1. And of course that means that X2 minus X1 equals 2 outside of X minus X1. Removing the brackets, we get 2x minus 2x1. Taking the 2x1 across the other side, we get x1 plus x2 equals 2x. Therefore, x equals x1 plus x2 over 2. Okay, now just pause the video and see if you can get the fact that y equals y1 plus y2 over 2. Okay, now we know that these are similar triangles, so again we can look at the corresponding sides. And we can see, this time, that AM... AM over MN must equal AB over BC. So we just replace the MN with Y minus Y1 and we replace the BC with Y2 minus Y1. Therefore, swapping over, we get AM over AB equals Y minus Y1 over Y2 minus Y1. AM over AB is a half. And of course, that becomes Y2 minus Y1 equals 2 outside of Y minus Y1. So y2 minus y1 equals 2y minus 2y1. Therefore, y1 plus y2 equals 
to y, and hence y equals y1 plus y2 all over 2. Therefore, the midpoint is x1 plus x2 on 2, and y1 plus y2 all over 2. Now just remember the plus sign, because later on we look at some other formula, you'll have to see a negative, and it's a very common mistake to put a minus sign in the midpoint formula. Now we'll go and look at some examples of this. Okay, example one. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment joining the points 3, 4 and minus 5, 2. And we'll call this midpoint M. So I'll write that as M outside of, now there's the X1, and there's the X2. So it's 3 plus minus 5 over 2. And we've got a 4 plus the 2 over 2. And of course this simply becomes uh, 3 plus minus 5 is minus 2, and minus 2 on 2 is going to be negative 1. And 4 plus 2 is 6, divided by 2 is 3 as your midpoint. OK, now in part 2 we have an algebraic type, and we have to find the midpoint of 2p, p squared, and 2q, q squared. Not particularly difficult. We're just going to have now m outside, that'll be 2p plus 2q on 2, and here'll be p squared plus q squared over 2. Should simplify that. We can see we've got a comp factor of 2 to take out, so that'll just be uh, p plus q, and that'll be p squared plus q squared all over 2.